Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be rehoming some fish out of this uh, 4500 gallon tank behind me. Uh, for a while we've been uh, having problems with uh, somebody bothering other fish. When you have an unnatural community like this, there's always problems and uh, you have to keep a close watch on what's happening. Take note of any new damage and figure out who is uh, bothering whom and try to correct it. So uh, for a while we've had problems with uh, mostly tails being tethered by, uh, not by, but of uh, gar of the giant gourami, of some catfish, and I, I couldn't figure out who that was, and I've been trying to, and I still am not sure. Uh, but I'm, uh, I think it's tiger shovel nose that have uh, the two tiger shovel nose, the supposed, uh, um, the supposed uh, wild caught tiger shovel nose from uh, River Orinoco or Magdalena, I forgot which one, but they're pretty much, I think they're fasciatum, Pseudoplatistoma fasciatum. And, uh, but other, other uh, suspects could be, uh, of course, the Waiki, the Black Devil catfish, uh, where is it? The Lyriae, which I don't think so, are right there, right in the middle. Lyriae are usually pretty tame fish, and when they're well fed, they don't bother anybody. All the bothering I'm talking about happens at night, when I turn off the light. Another candidate is the Vailanti and Piraiba, the two Brachyplatistoma that uh, are also pretty predatory and they could do something at night. But I don't think Valiant, Valiant feeds exceptionally well. So uh, again, my uh, guesses are Piraiba, Tiger Shovel Nose, are the primary guesses, I, I would say. And I'm pretty sure they're Tiger Shovel Nose. But the ones that are sustaining a lot of damage are the, uh, the Vulture Catfish. Uh, we only have four left out of uh, six. One was killed many years ago by African tigerfish, and another uh, larger female was just recently killed, and I think that was the doing of the tiger shovel nose. And in general, the uh, uh, as you can see, the vulture are the slimmest fish in this exhibit, and they also lack sharp spines in their fins for protection. So they're uh, rather defenseless that way. You can see how badly tattered the tail on that vulture is. So we've decided to rehome the vultures into the, uh, try them into the 25,000 gallon, the rubber uh, liner lined exhibit, because uh, vultures don't have the sharp spines and uh, I'm hoping they would do fine there, even though the water there is a little harder for the sturgeon and the, uh, and the redfish will keep water harder in that exhibit than here. But we'll see. We'll put them there and see what happens. And also, uh, one of the giraffe catfish, the one from Niger sitting in the middle right now, it's a Alcanoglanus species. You can see the, uh, the Congo is right in front, the Congo is passing in the back, and in the middle is sitting the Niger giraffe catfish. We need to get it out of there and put it in into the 1800 gallon tank. It'll be safer there. I think it's a rare fish and I, I don't want I don't want to lose it and once in a while it gets bothered as well. Right now it's uh, left pectoral fin is uh, torn up. This is the boucher. They're more assertive, more aggressive. We have to bouch a giraffe catfish. They can stay here for now at least anyway. But the Niger giraffe catfish has to go. So we're gonna have to get in there and uh, get them all out and rehome them.
got all four, all four of them packed up and ready to go into the 25,000. So the biggest female is probably about 25 inches, 25, 26 inches. And the other three are males. This one is uh, 22, 22. This one's about 20, 21.